do we got? Okay, we're pretty clear. You notice that uh, clearing out your inventory to start this process. And the best way to do this, see, if if you, I was planning on doing some of the big figures you might have seen in the uh, roller coaster world. So all my sheep are different colors. So this makes this a little more of a, I don't know, difficult. I hate to say difficult because it's not difficult, but a little more of a process. If you've kept all your, if you haven't dyed all your sheep, you don't have to, you know, worry about, well, let's see, I want to do all the browns first and then all the, but either way, it's a good deal. And like I said, you want to lock on to whoever you're buying from. Ooh, I should have done that with him. I wonder where he is. Are you the guy I was talking to you about written books? All right. Remember, written books was his last option. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy. He's still willing to buy written books. Unfortunately, there's only so many you can pound. You can pound a lot of paper. But uh, he has moved on to his next option. I should have stayed there and waited for that. And he's willing to give us one emerald for 19 paper. And if you remember, the other gentleman wants to give us one emerald for 26. So we got to have a really good deal on paper again. And what I want to do is fill all this up with paper. And what I did wrong there was I caught him out in the open. Uh, catch them at night inside a house. Uh, if you can, where there's not other villagers in the house, or not a lot of them, where they can jostle them and break the connection you have with him. Because you remember our paper guy, that once he broke that connection, he wouldn't buy any more paper. But if you've got that connection, you can just pound paper. Uh, I think it, on one, he actually did break the connection at one point himself and refused to, to uh, buy anymore but I'm not totally certain because you know it's a, a there's a game where there's some uh, random elements and he might have broke the connection for some other reason this isn't best organized uh, I played what I call as playing gentleman farmer and after a while I got tired of it because <laughs> I wanted to go out and, and beat the crud out of monsters and do stuff like that so uh, however for a while it can be because uh, you saw the the diamond options as far as getting various kinds of diamond armor and if you can buy diamonds instead of digging them, it's to me it's a good deal. Let's see. We're on peaceful. I wouldn't do this. And I'm a little goosey about getting rid of my uh, tools on anything. It's just kind of a habit that you never do that. And we'll, well, we don't have to unload the emeralds. If we get another stack, we'll have room by then. And what we need to do now is find our our wool guy. And I remember there being one. Here's a one of our golem friends. The villagers here did build both these guys. I didn't build either one of them. Hi, golem. Remember we cut that door out last time. Okay, are you in the wool market? Yes, you are, and 17 is going to be a good price. Let's see, white. Instead of showing you all this, which to me would get tedious, why don't we, uh, I'll stop chatting and uh, I'll get back to you after we've uh, done all this. We started out at what, around 30 emeralds or so? Okay, we're about through here with our uh, day at the wool exchange. As you can see, it's been very lucrative. One thing I did see, I think it was under bugs on uh, 
trading was sometimes if you shift right uh, left click you won't get your full however many they owe you so it's never happened to me but be aware that at least one time that was a bug so you might want to keep an eye on your numbers and make sure they're increasing in this case it was about three each time so if you see them not increasing you might have to pound them one at a time but that was a listed bug as I said it's never happened to me so we'll move on to some other trading here oh I should have waited to see if you go see the pink circles the brown ones in my experience I guess are the farmers whites alright see he's moved on to three emeralds for flint and steel and that's just BS but let's see if he'll let us buy just one and move on to another option come on show me some little pink circles there's our pink circles showing he's happy with the trade flint and steel and nope he didn't click over alright one more time just for this video Oh, he was still offering wool. This is another thing. Sometimes if they're happy with the trade, they'll uh, give you an even better price. Instead of for 17, we're getting one emerald for 16. So you could come in here and see if he lowers his price, but he might stop buying completely. So you got to decide if you want to take that chance or not. All right, let's see if he's happy with the second flint and steel. Yes, he is. Now, those happy things there, hopefully, every now and then, you accidentally might whack one of these. You might be better at not doing it than I am. But every now and then, I actually hit one. So I'm hoping that kind of counters the animosity from that. All right. He'll sell us seven chicken for one emerald. Now, at this point, I'd be moving on to other things but they'll and I'm not sure how many options they can offer you at one time you see the pink circles again let's see if he's giving us one more option alright he'll sell us bread for one emerald this may be a a good place to learn about all this alright we'll buy some bread he might go to where he buys wheat now. There is, there's no definitive pattern where they always go this option, then this option, then in op this option. But there are patterns, loose patterns. All right, chicken, bread. Okay, see, he's willing to buy our wheat now. And our herds are built up to where we could sell him some wheat. I never built big wheat fields here in my sand world I've got massive wheat fields so that's a real good deal a lot of people like that one better than the paper one or they don't know about the paper one so there we have it and you see how if you go well that's a crap deal because the flint and steel was and the chicken wasn't good and the bread wasn't good but here and, and once you got stacks and stacks you can go ahead and run some of these options and see where you turn up so he's given us a, a ton of emeralds for, for wool, and he wants to give us another ton for wheat. So that's pretty good. Let's use the door just because we're silly. Uh, I'm going to do a little edit and, and pick up some stuff and see what else I've got to trade and check on some of these guys. Before I do that, though, I do know where I want to go next, so let's do that. I just redesigned this. I couldn't always reach the priest, and uh, I tend to make do with things, and probably I shouldn't do that. But my priest is in here, or he might be out on the balcony. And I told you about those balconies being unnecessary. I actually made them so that they wouldn't be cooped up, the ones that were jailed up. But I know that's silly, but it kind of, to me, it personalizes the game. And, you know, it's my game. What the hell? All right, purple is the priest. And with all the breeding, the increase in population, I never got another priest, and I can't reach him from here. 
All right, there's Mr. White Apron, and he does, he's a leather worker. And I, I wish I could think what that is, but I just woke up and my brain won't kick up a word for me. But anyway, I think, you know, saddles used to be rare. It was like a dungeon thing. And I found one in a, I found a villager way up, I've got a mountain village, it's just tiny, tiny. And uh, I found a saddle seller there, say that five times fast. And he doesn't have any other options yet. This, try and think if this guy's new or not. Okay, he could kick us another option. It's probably going to be like leather armor of some kind. Come on, little pink circles there. You can see it a lot better because this is open. And, yeah, see, who the hell wants leather boots? And his, what he's eventually going to do is probably want raw beef or raw pork or maybe, I don't remember who takes the raw chicken. But he works in leather. He's going to want raw beef. And it's not a good price, but if you got a bunch left over, what the hell? This is another leather worker. We get some pants here. Get leather. And, and he kicked the coal because I think they're set as being a, a smith persona. And a smith uses coal. Now, I don't think leather, I don't know, maybe in, in a cooking, dyeing, uh, curing process. But anyway, you can sell coal to uh, leather workers, and I wouldn't have thought of that. I've run through several of this guy's options, so I have gone down the road. All right, that's raw pork chops. See, that's 15 for one emerald. That's not a good way to get emeralds. But if you got it, once you reach a point where you're, and there's nothing else you get from pigs, so there's no point in raising and killing pigs, really, so. But if you do, there it is. And if it's your only emerald option, what the hell? Okay, here we've got another farmer. This fish option comes up frequently. I really do not like it when it's the first option because I don't like to fish. It's always cooked fish. It's usually about nine. All right, he kicked over where he'd let us buy bread from him. And then here's the one everybody hates. Uh, gravel and an emerald for two flan. It's like, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. Well, of course it is. But we're not thinking about that. We're thinking about the next option. And I don't have any gravel with me. But he'll run through farmer-type options. 